हेलो एवरी वन वेरी वॉम वेलकम अगैन टू ईच वन ऑफ यू फॉर दी वर्चुअल सेशन ऑफ साइंस चिल्ड्रेन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड यू आर मेंटेनिंग योर नोटबुक चिल्ड्रेन वेरी मच होपफुल फॉर दैट सो लेट एस सी वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू हैव इन दिस वर्चुअल सेशन ऑफ साइंस वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स सो वॉट आर लेफ्ट नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर टू बी डन we had finished with ncert exercise in the previous session so in this session we are going to see ncert exemplar that is mcq so here we begin with the multiple choice questions and as a regular practice you are going to write down the statement the correct answer and the explanation i repeat you are going to write down the statement the correct answer and the explanation so let us begin the first one here the muscular tube through which stored urine is passed out of the body is called first one kidney uh, option b ureter option c urethra option d urinary bladder so the correct answer is urethra that is the muscular tube through which stored urine is passed out of the body i hope that is clear so we will write down the explanation now please take down the explanation for this waste which is present in the blood has to be removed from the body this is done by the blood capillaries in the kidneys the waste dissolved in water are removed as urine from the kidneys the urine goes into the urinary bladder through tube like uh, structure called ureters it is stored in the bladder and is passed out through the urinary opening at the end of muscular tube called the urethra the kidneys ureters bladder and urethra form the excretory system so i hope your this concept is clear please take down statement correct answer along with the explanation next we'll go for mcq question number 2 they are pipe like consisting of a group of specialized cells they transport substances and form two way traffic in plants Which of the following terms qualify for the features mentioned above? Option A xylem tissue, option B vascular tissue, option C root hairs, option D phloem tissue. So you all have studied about uh, the special types of uh, tissues those are called as vascular vascular tissues and we have learned about xylem and the phloem are the vascular tissue. So phloem tissue perform functions by which it will have the transportation of food by two way system that is bi directional you have learned i hope this clear the option d is correct over here and the explanation phloem tissue is responsible for the transportation of substances that is food next one question number 3 the absorption of nutrients and exchange of respiratory gases between blood and tissues takes place in option a veins option b arteries option c heart option d capillaries so the absorption of nutrients and exchange of respiratory gases takes uh, between blood and tissue takes place in capillaries those are fine tube like structures so explanation here capillaries are the extremely thin blood vessels when an exchange of substances and absorption of nutrients takes place and the thin wall facilitate the exchange i hope this is very clear with you all so here we go for question number 4 which of the following parts of the human body are sweat glands absent so you sweat your body sweat all the skin surface is sweat and it is a way by which the toxic harmful substances from the body is eliminated so the which part of the body of the human body where sweat glands are absent we have a sweat glands which actually help us in sweating so option a scalp option b armpits option c lips option d palms so here you mu- must have noticed lips will never sweat because there the sweat glands are absent whereas scalp will sweat armpits will sweat palms will also sweat but lips will never sweat you will never sweat through your lips because the sweat glands are absent over there 
let us see sweat glands are responsible for the production of sweat these glands are absent in leaves hence leaves don't secrete sweat i hope you are writing along with the explanation now question number 5 in a tall tree which force is responsible for pulling water and minerals from the soil option a gravitational force option b transportation force option c suction force option d conduction force so you all know that is suction force that is option c uh, due to transpiration there's a suction pull develop which help to absorb water from the roots because of the suction pull so that is the suction force which help in pulling the water and minerals from the soil towards uh, the upward and towards all the parts of the plants and the tree so explanation root absorb roots absorb water and minerals from the soil continuously evaporation of water from leaves creates suction force because the leaves uh, continuously due transpiration with the help of stomata water vapor is given out and there will be a force created because of lack of water on the upper part of the uh, plant or the tree that's why the suction pull is created and with the help of which uh, causes the water to move upwards i hope this is very clear with you all children now next question number 6 aquatic animals like fish excrete their waste in gaseous form as option a oxygen ox, uh, option b hydrogen option c ammonia option d nitrogen so we have learned about the different excretory products by different living organism and for fish your aquatic animals like fish will excrete ammonia i hope this is very clear so the explanation over here oxygen is expelled out by plants hydrogen is a cellular waste product nitrogen is excreted in the form of urea and the organism which excrete urea is called as urolytic uh, organisms so urolytic organisms they will excrete urea whereas excrete uh, aquatic animals will excrete waste products in the form of ammonia that is ammonia gas which get dissolved in water and this organism are known as ammonotelic animals so they are called as ammono uh, telic uh, animals whereas the animals which gives out urea they are called as ureotelic organisms i hope uh, this mcq is very clear with you all and this is a very good way to recollect concepts and to review and reinforce concept which you have already done in your previous sessions i hope you are writing all this in your notebook children so here we come to an end of the session children i hope uh, the session was interesting to you all thank you children and have a great day